Um, our partnership with USF has been going on for about, this will be our fourth year. Um, it's kind of a, a trial and error type of run. You know, we've started year one kind of with our ideas, getting our ideas together. And then um, year two, we took off to St. Augustine and we thought we'd be cool with our own tour guides. And then we realized that wasn't the best. So throughout this process, every year is getting better. We are narrowing it down um, to what's good for the kids' needs, what's following the Sunshine State standard needs, and also incorporating the artifacts at the same time. Um, it was particularly exciting this past year uh, because in the past we have just given the, you know, that keep the children would come um, and they would kind of look and we would talk, but they really kind of weren't completely, you know, engaged in it. So this past year, what we did was we decided that we would have the children um, do the, you know, become the, the specialist. Um, so it, that, I think, made it much more exciting. Well, probably the most difficult aspect of teaching fourth grade social studies is that the curriculum is, the state curriculum is aligned towards Florida. And to find resources that align with the state standards is difficult. The USF has provided us with um, a lot of different resources. Uh, the Florida Then and Now website, the uh, box of, of photographs from the USF Special Collections Library. USF has also uh, helped us f create partnerships. The Tampa Bay History Center uh, provided us with uh, like a box of materials, uh, replica artifacts that we use to study uh, early Native Americans in uh, Florida. So that the students had actual hands-on uh, apparatus to, to touch and feel and to go through and to understand and then they used those images in their PowerPoints that they created and also as part of their presentation. What we did was I created these uh, what's called web quests and I researched all the different great um, student-friendly sites that they could go to and I created a web quest so that, let's say if it was on the Castillo, all they have to do is click on that link, then they'd have that link to, to research. Since it was already going to be a big step for them to begin with to do research, this was a shortcut for them so that we could give, provide the sites for them for them to do it. In addition to that, I um, pulled a lot of Florida history books aside and created a collection just for them so that they could go and check it out. I think this is a real world experience for them to learn about um, reference skills. So they are referencing encyclopedias, text, and online sources. This, this is the, most, the best opportunity for them, I think. And then they get to go and apply it by being the tour guidance and going on this special trip to St. Augustine. There was a writing assignment that they had to do. They had to write information about what they were, their research project. That's the speech that they gave was their writing assignment. I worked on it in my classroom and at home. And we looked at the different links and I helped her take notes because this is, as a fourth grader, her first time ever having to write a report with taking notes. And of course, you know, as a librarian, you talk about no plagiarism, it has to be in your own words. So I had to talk with her about that and work with her on note taking. Mm -hmm. They helped me write it up on the thing and they helped me research. Well, writing my presentation, I had to do a lot of research online and I did a, a lot of different research. He did. He worked on the project a lot at home. I know that uh, they had opportunity to at school and I think he did some as well, but he worked on it a lot at home. We spent quite a bit of time helping him through the process. Writing the report was hard, the harder part, but um, either way, it was, it was fun. Honest? Uh, no, I think, he, I, think he enjoyed, I think he enjoyed the process of knowing what he was going to be doing. Um, and uh, I think, I mean, it's always fun to work together with your kids, so I think maybe I enjoy that far more than he did. But um, I think that, and even I, I saw even, even other students, you know, the beginning part of just trying to work through the process is sometimes more of the struggle. Once you get into it, you get really interested, so it's more fun. I really like that they learned how to research. So they pull it together and they come up with a new product, and which is what I really enjoyed watching them come up with, a new product. I did read her assignment. I thought that I never heard of it before, <laughs> and uh, I thought it was fantastic. You know, some of the uh, local history and you know, I learned that St. Augustine, you know, is one of the oldest cities in the nation, and it's right here in Florida. So it was actually a good learning experience for myself and my wife also. They were excited. I mean, they're always excited about learning, but they were really excited about learning this. 
you know, they were the ones who would tell me, it's time for, time for our group activity, group activity. And so, you know, having that kind of push from them was really, was really helpful. I do feel there were some that definitely got into character. You know, they felt, you know, not only was this going to be a grade, but it was an adventure on the way to a grade. And when we got to this adventure, we were going to get up and, you know, we've worked so hard about a month on this project and research paper. So it really became a part of them and what they were doing. Their, by then, their parents had gotten involved. They had practiced the speech. They had, you know, really put forth an effort. Oh, that was fabulous. We got to school at like 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, the bus ride I think was about three hours long and that was exciting for the students, just that in itself. Yeah, it was, it was cool then opposed to uh, walking around with the tour guide, listening to them. We got, I got to listen to my friends tell their reports. And I love being involved in field trips with my kids just to see them interact with their peers is fun. I really thoroughly enjoyed, in fact I've told quite a few people that how much I enjoyed watching the students be the tour guides. It was better because just listening to a tour guide is kind of just like, oh, you, you listen to it all the time, but listening to your friends talk is kind of like, oh, that's cool. They read their own report. I would definitely say to go. Um, I mean, I think that it was, for me, it was a huge benefit. It's, it was a highlight for me, honestly. Um, I will look back at the experience that I got to have with my son as a great highlight um, and watching him, like I said, interact with his peers, but also just watching each of the students come to life um, as they got to share um, their, their presentation. Um, but it was, it was exciting, just, and so I would encourage parents to come. I just saw a bunch of kids who were engaged in the trip. They seemed to be involved in seeing what they actually wrote about and what they wanted to see it in person and live and up front. I like Fort Mose, how my friend AJ, he gave off a lot of information on it. So I, I saw not only the children engaged in their own projects and their own uh, assignments, but also the, uh, their fellow students' assignments. I enjoyed learning about this stuff the whole year and then actually seeing it. That what I thought was cool. My presentation was about the Castillo, and I had a perfect to watch me. He said that you guys are good and you know almost as much as I know. And he actually said that he got some new information from the students as well. I thought that was awesome. I like going to the Castillo the most because I had really focused on that the whole year. But arriving in St. Augustine and seeing um, everything that they had learned about was just fabulous for them. And to see it, and it was so big and so tall. To be a, a, the person who um, reported on it, I think made them feel very important. And I knew everything about it, so I was like, haha, I know this. I really think it helped them um, become self-learners. They really were learning themselves and then they were able to pass on that knowledge to not only their fellow students but a lot of the parents along. Uh, the, one of the best ways to learn something is to actually teach it. Even when, when we come back they take ownership and turn that into their PowerPoint presentation but they're also taking it onto life. You know, I can run into the kids now in the hallways and they can say, oh, in St. Augustine this. Or I wrote another book report in fifth grade about this, this same person. So it's definitely followed them on. It, it's a great program. Um, I'm hoping that we can, can continue with this program um, and build on what we have done already. So very exciting and I'm glad to be part of it. Every single year when I have my fifth graders here and they say um, what was their, most, their best memory of Claywell, Without a doubt, they always say St. Augustine. So it, it definitely made an impact.